Hello Year 3 and welcome to Lesson 4 of our History Week. And today it's about the Magna Carta. Our learning objectives will be to understand the importance of Magna Carta in history and to explain how Magna Carta had an impact on life in Britain in a newspaper article. Interesting. Okay, um, what I'd like you to do is pause the video and um, write down the dates and underline it with a ruler and then write down the learning objective, which is this top one here. It's to understand the importance of Magna Carta in history. So write that down into your book and then underline it and then we're ready to go. Let's have a look at what we're going to do in three, two, one. Okay, let's recap. What did King John do? Remember, he was under all of that pressure from the barons and the French and the church. He'd annoyed everybody. So what did he do? He agreed to sign the Magna Carta. And this was a list of promises that would make England a safe and fair place to live for the people. And what, it's one of the most important moments in history. It signed this Magna Carta on the 15th of June, 2015. Okay, so today we're going to write a newspaper article about the king signing the Magna Carta. So we have to imagine that we're there at the time and we're reporters writing for the paper and our front page is going to be about King John signing this famous piece of paper saying that everyone is more free than they've ever been before. We're going to use possessive apostrophes, modal verbs, time connectives, exciting adjectives and more. Oh, it's going to be good. Let's have a look. Let's go. Right, first of all, we need to know some words. Um, we covered a couple yesterday of these words, but what I would like you to do is try and define these words. I'll quickly tell you what they are. So a charter is a piece of paper that sets out rules, okay? Democracy is a, play, a free place to live. Reign Let's have a look. Oh, whoops. That's a time. I've lost it. Never mind. It's a time that a king or a queen rules for. Uh, king John reigned for 17 years in the end, from 1199 until 1216. I'll tell you what, actually. What we'll do is you copy down these, um, these definitions. Yeah. And have a look at the pictures as well, because the pictures tell you exactly what the definitions mean when you do it. So take your time with these first three. Mm -hmm. And then once you've done those, unpause the video and we'll look at the next ones. OK, so pause the video, write down the definitions and then we'll move on in three, two, one. And then here are our other four. We've got feudal and feudal. Right, I'm going to have to explain this one. So here are people working in a feudal system. So feudal is where poor people or peasants are given land by a lord or a king in return for their loyalty and hard work. So the lord or the king who owns the land, they will give a very small piece of land to a peasant or a poor person, and they'll have to work on the land and grow food and, and crops and pay taxes, and uh, that's the only way that they can live. It was a tough life back then for a peasant. Barons, they're important noble people who own a large amount of land, and sometimes they sell a bit of, they give a bit of land to their to a peasant who then farms and makes them money, and uh, they usually own land. Okay, um, some lords were barons as well. Taxes, we looked at that last time. Taxes are mon is money paid to the king or queen, like a bill that we have to pay today. And then Magna Carta, that's the main thing that we're learning about today. It's Latin for the Great Charter, and it gave some freedom and rights to the people and led to the beginning of freedom and democracy in Britain. OK, pause the video now and get your own definitions down for those, and then we'll move on. In three, two, one. OK, we're going to watch a little video about Magna Carta first to find out exactly what it was. Are you ready? Let's do it. This may look like a plain, unassuming piece of parchment, but it's actually one of the most famous documents in the world. 
Magna Carta, meaning the Great Charter, has inspired people across the centuries, from Thomas Jefferson to Mahatma Gandhi. But why was the Charter originally created, and what does it actually say? Let us take you back to medieval England. It's the year 1215, and the ruler is King John. Many people believe that King John was one of the worst kings in history. He imprisoned his former wife, he starved his opponents to death, he allegedly murdered his own nephew, and pulled the beards of the Irish chiefs. King John had imposed heavy taxes on his barons in order to pay for his expensive foreign wars. If they refused to pay, he punished them severely or seized their property. The barons demanded that King John obey the law. When he refused, they captured London and John was forced to negotiate. The two sides met at Runnymede in June 1215. The result of the negotiations was written down by the King's clerks into the document we know as Magna Carta. Although most of the Charter's clauses dealt with medieval rights and customs, Magna Carta has become a powerful symbol of liberty around the world. The most famous clause, which is still part of the law today, for the first time gave all free men the right to justice and a fair trial. No man shall be arrested or imprisoned except by the judgment of their equals and by the law of the land. To no one will we sell. However, this no clause was not as liberal as it sounds. The Charter only applied to free men. The vast majority of people in 1215 were unfree peasants who were ruled over by their landowners. And although Magna Carta was intended to create peace between King John and his rebellious barons, England was plunged into civil war after the Pope declared the Charter invalid. When King John died of dysentery in 1216, nine-year-old Henry III took to the throne. And to keep the peace, Magna Carta was reissued several times during the 13th century, until it was finally made part of English law. So what was Magna Carta then? Well, the barons forced King John to sign the Magna Carta, which was the beginning of people having freedom and rights in this country. A lot of what we see today comes from the signing of this document. The Magna Carta made sure that even our leaders had to live by the law, and it's more than 800 years old now, and was the beginning of democracy that we have in the lives that we have today. Okay, now we have a gap fill. Okay, if I've put times two, by Magna Carta there, that means that you can use it twice in this, okay? So pause the video now and see if you can fill in those gaps and write out this block of text with the gaps filled in your books. Okay, neat handwriting, off you go. Unpause when you're ready. And we'll check the answers in three, two, one. Okay, so, the barons forced King John to sign the Magna Carta, which was the beginning of people having freedom and rights in this country. The Magna Carta made sure that even our leaders had to follow the law. It is more than 800 years old and was the beginning of democracy in the lives we live today. OK, make any changes you need to. We'll move on in three, two, one. Oh, look, we're going to have a special guest. Let's see if I can go and find him. Yes, it is I, King John. And this is a page here from the Magna Carta, which I was forced against my will to sign. And there is my royal seal, which makes it official. There was no turning back. I had to live with the Magna Carta and give people rights. Terrible business. If I put my royal seal on it, it meant that the Magna Carta now became law and we all had to follow it. <sighs> well, what did it say then? I'll get to it. There were 63 clauses to the Charter. I must seek the Baron's advice in all important matters. Look, possessive apostrophes there. There you go. Baron's advice. 
No special taxes could be raised in the Barons' agreement. To none we will sell, to none we will deny or delay right of justice. And that part of it meant that everyone had the right to a trial, regardless of the crime or the person's power or position, which I thought was absolutely unreasonable, for if I say something goes, then that's how it should go. And the church is now free from the king, which is another silly thing, in my opinion, to have its own lands and choose archbishops and other clergymen. I am the king! Where is my power? Anyway... <coughs> The king could continue to rule, but I must keep to the laws of the land. No other king had to do that. I didn't see that it's fair. I told the Pope to cancel it a few weeks later. It wasn't good for me. And the civil war began where I fought against barons of my own country. Can you believe it? And the French, led by Philip II of France, that evil person. Not a lot of other people thought he was evil, but I did because it was my country. The French were finally defeated by my best soldier, William Marshall, the year after I died in 1217. I'd already died, so I didn't see it happen. Um, so it's funny that I know about it now, but I do anyway. And my son, Henry III, he was nine years old when he became king and took over from me. So let's see what you know then again about the Magna Carta. It's only famous because I signed it, you know. Okay, try and do these tasks. I'll leave you to it now. And then fill them in in your box, and then, and then you check the answers when you're done, okay? I'm not interested anymore, I'm going. All of this history, they talk about me very badly indeed. Okay, King John, not happy again there. Um, it does. He's right though, history doesn't see him in a very nice way. Shall we see what answers you got for the quiz? We'll have a look at them in three, two, one. Okay, so the Magna Carta, or Great Charter... Hope you've filled this out into your book. Um, and then all of the answers are there. So just check what your answers are and then make sure you've got the right ones in your book so that you can look back at them and we can learn for them. Okay, I will move on in three, two, one. Okay. Hear ye, hear ye. That's what the people used to yell when they were trying to sell newspapers back then. A newspaper article about Magna Carta. I want you to pause the video now and follow my advice to writing a good newspaper article about King John and the Magna Carta. So pause the video now for this page and there's more advice on the next page, which I'll move on to in three, two, one. Here's the next page. I've shown you the steps. So we're up to step five there. Pause the video if you need step four and five. And then finally, three, two, one. We've got step six and seven as well. Now, step six and seven will help us get those possessive apostrophes and modal verbs into our newspaper article too. So make sure you follow the steps. Um, just pause when you need to, when the steps are up on the screen. And then I'll move on in three, two, one. Okay, and then extra tips. Check all of your writing when you're finished. Remember... That newspaper there, that article, um, doesn't show you anything. It just shows you how to lay it out, to put it into your book. Um, try to avoid repetition with the same words or names of people. Can't try and call them different things, like the king or John or, I don't know, the mean ruler or something like that. Use a time connective, next, then, after, and use exciting adjectives, like I know that you can. We came up with some for King John last time. Okay, good luck. You could even stain your newspaper article with tea bags. Um, to make it look old. So what you could do is, after you finish writing it on paper, if you do it on separate paper, you can put tea bags onto it, not if it's in your book, if it's on separate paper, and then it will make it look old once it's dry afterwards. Okay, so what have we learned today? We know that the, well, we know about the Magna Carta, but was it good for the people of England? Can you explain why? And then finally, after you've done that, is a true or false question. King John was a good king because he gave us the Magna Carta. Okay, explain your answer. And then once you've done that, um, that will be it. And remember that once you've done your newspaper article, it will be the first thing ever that's like it about the Magna Carta because there were no newspapers back then. Stories were passed from messengers from village to village by 
people simply telling them by word of mouth, or minstrels singing about Robin Hood as well. Okay, another fantastic lesson, guys. Another visit from King John. He was a bit angry. But well done today, and come back more for more history tomorrow. <laughs>